All right, let's do some uh, let's do some ch uh, forces in linear charge arrays. Okay, the goal here is that we want to find the force on charge B. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the forces, and that looks like uh, force is K Q Q over R squared. And this is if they're charges. If it's a, if it's masses, we're going to use F is G M M over R squared. Okay. These are very similar things, right? Okay. Um, then we're going to figure out the direction. In this case, it'll just be right or left. And right will make positive. Left will make negative. And then we'll add them as, as vectors, which adding them as vectors will just be the same as adding them as scalar, right? If, they're, if, if to the right is positive, to the left is negative, we'll just add them up, right? Um, there we go. So let, let me just show you. I'll walk through one of these just like this, okay? So, so we're going to find the force on this guy, on B, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to, the first thing is to guess which way the force of C on B is, right? Um, and notice that they are opposite charges, right? So C and B are going to be attracted. So the force of C on B will be this way. Okay, because it's attracting. And by the way, the force of B on C will be, this is an equal and opposite force, right? So the force of B on C, that's our nomenclature, force of B on C, right? Would be to the right, this guy would be to the left. These are equal and opposite, right? Um, but we're really, we're being, we're, we want to know what the force is on B, right? And then the force of A on B, well, these guys are the same charge, right? Okay, so these guys are going to repel. So the force of A on B, is going to be to the right, and these guys would be, and this one would be to the left. Okay? So this is um, the force of B on A. Okay? Now, all we have to do now is just figure these out, right? Okay? So the force of C on B is going to be uh, 8.99 E9. C is uh, 15. E minus 6, and then this is uh, 12 E minus 6, and then let's divide by, uh, what's our radius here, 1.43, all right, so let's figure that out, 8.99 E9 times 15 E minus 6 times 12. E minus 6 divided by 1.43 squared. And this is uh, 0 0.79133 newtons. And this is the force of C on B, right? So C is attracting B to the left. So this is to the left. OK? So I'm going to make that negative x direction, right? OK, and then the force of uh, A on B is going to be 8.99, and then A is 45. I'm just using the charges here. Right? Okay, and then uh, B is uh, 12. Right, and then how far is A from B? It is uh, 0.67 plus 1.43 is uh, 2.10 is this distance here. Right, so this is over 2.10 squared. So let's try that. I'm going to go up, grab the thing I just typed in, change my 1.43 to a 2.10, and then change the, I guess, the 15 to a 45. There we go. And this is uh, 1.008, 1 1.1008 uh, newtons. And this is the force of A on B, so it's to the right. Okay, so this would be plus, right? Okay, so now all I have to do is just go negative this plus this, right? So the opposite of this plus this. And I get 0 0.30948 uh, to the right. So all I did was I made positive... Uh, to the right and negative to the left. Okay. So it's approximately 0 0.31 newtons to the right. 
All right.